morning. So today I'd like to talk to you about how to deal with wickedness. How to deal with wickedness. Unfortunately, we are all going to experience some form of wickedness in our lives. Uh, the first reading of this morning is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, from verses 1 to 8. That's what we're focusing on. It's after the death of Stephen, persecution breaks out in the early church, and some of them stay, some of them run away, and some of them mourn their dead. And the Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6, from verses 35 onwards. Jesus continues his teaching about the bread of life. So, um, Unfortunately, we are all going to have to face up to some form of wickedness in the world. Every form of wickedness requires uh, one or two things. It requires that people validate it, it requires that people do nothing, and so on and so forth. So, there are three things I like to say about dealing with wickedness this morning. Three words. Heal, deal, leave. Heal, deal, leave. Heal. In the first reading, we saw that Stephen was dead. And then, of course, the church, the early church was in mourning. Some people came and took the body of Stephen and went to bury it. They took their time to mourn for him. When we experience wickedness, every time we experience wickedness, something dies in us, something breaks in us. We might stop believing in humanity, we might stop believing in love, we might stop believing in relationships, we might stop even believing in anything. So something dies in us every time we experience real human wickedness. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. So when you experience wickedness, something dies in you and it's important to take the time to heal, take the time to mourn, take the time to evaluate what has happened so that you can become a better person. That's healing. It's important to heal. Second thing is deal. When we experience wickedness, the temptation is to close in on ourselves and to do nothing. But Jesus invites us to go out and deal. The Bible says this morning that everyone was running heter sketer, but the apostles stayed. They stayed, and thanks to their resisting, thanks to their being able to stand, the capital of the church in the world today is still in Rome. There is still some presence of Christianity in Jerusalem. Imagine they had all fled. Imagine they had all run heter skater like everyone else. So it's important to be able to deal with wickedness. We have to deal at some point with wickedness. It is uh, Jürgen Moltmann, uh, the German the protestant theologian, who said once, that the opposite of love is not hate, the opposite of love is indifference. I've also heard it said that all it takes for evil or wickedness to thrive is for good people to do nothing. So it's important to deal with wickedness, to try to fight back at wickedness, to try to do something, tell this person that this, this thing is wrong, you can't keep doing this. You know, so dealing with wickedness is one important way of limiting its impact in the world. And the last thing I'd like to say is leave. It comes a time, unfortunately, when you have to leave, take a walk. Philip, one of the seven who were elected to serve at the table, we saw we start his story this morning. What happened was that when this persecution broke out, so many people were being killed, some were mourning and some were running everywhere. Philip left. He left Jerusalem and went to Samaria. He got to Samaria and began to preach the word of God there. And the word of God says this morning that he brought a lot of joy to Samaria. Sometimes, when wickedness gets to a certain point, God is just telling you that that place does not deserve your presence. It's time to leave. It's time to take your talent elsewhere. It's time to leave to save your honor. Leaving sometimes is not a, it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that the people who are there do not acknowledge your worth. Jesus says that if you go to a village and you preach the word of God and they accept you, stay there. But if they do not accept you, dust off the dust from your sandals and go elsewhere. So leaving is also one of the ways of dealing with wickedness. So this morning, I pray that you don't experience wickedness, but if you do, try to heal, try to deal, and if you cannot, leave. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.